Hey everybody, Earl Retentive here. Uh, just a quick uh, update. Um, the last video that I did um, had a lot of hypnosis uh, albums that I got, um, and this book, um, which is awesome. Um, but I realized as I was looking through this book and um, creating the spreadsheet. Um, that I have a lot more albums to get, <laughs> for one thing. Um, and I did a recount of things that I had, and I went, you know, through each record, and looking at my spreadsheet, do I have any this group, this group, this group, whatever. So, went through them, and I actually discovered one that I didn't didn't realize was a Hypnosis album cover. Um, and so, with this album, brings me to a total of 70. Uh, so, at the end of this video, there will be a new tote board. Uh, and that album was this one, uh, Robert Plant's The Principle of Moments. Um, I want to say I had this, is this from 80, I want to say this from 84, 83. So this is from 83, this is the year I was in college. Um, and I'm pretty certain I had this. When it first came out, I was like, oh, you know. I were plants. It's gonna be awesome, and I was really actually surprised at how uh, mellow this album is. Um, I was surprised, but good. I mean, it's got other arms in the mood, uh, big log, you know. So it's good stuff. But I always was like, "What the hell is this?" I'm like, "It's a terrible picture, right?" And then it's just got this little color swatch over here you know, repeat it on the back, but like just a big white blob, right? So I don't know how many of you actually know this, probably, you know, like with the Led Zeppelin colorized sleeve, everybody probably knows that this is except for me. Um, but in the book, it actually talks about um, this album cover. Usually, or most of the pages are just, you know, some detail about each album cover. But some of them they write a little bit about, and uh, evidently for this one, Robert Plant requested um, some type of picture of him in disguise while he was making cats, this Cat's Cradle thing. Something he wanted, evidently. Uh, but this white blob is actually their darkroom assistant running through the frame. Uh, and they just happened to snap it, you know, at a really, I don't know, there's really super slow shutter speed or fast or whatever, so... Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, there's his arm. He's wearing, that, you know, like a white lab coat, right? So there's kind of a blur out of his legs, and there's his arm and stuff. So I'm like, oh, now I get it. So, so anyway, that's number 70. Uh, so, yeah. I think I mentioned in my last video that now there's close to 400 of them. <laughs> so I have a few more to get. Um, you know, and some are really stunning, and some are not stunning. There's a few that I couldn't find. Uh, for instance, this one right here, this uh, Zada Zada by uh, Rhett Stoller. Uh, evidently, at this time, unless I looked it up wrong, nobody on Discogs knows anything about that album. <laughs> And there's probably five or six other ones, but for the most part, uh, after I went through and did, you know, did the spreadsheet of, you know, the year, the artist, the name of the album, uh, once I had that all done, then I went and put all the ones that I don't own on my Dis Discogs want list, so that when I <laughs> log in and... Uh, you know, have some have some record money to, to spend. I can pick out somebody who's got a lot of the ones that I'm after. You know, or one expensive one, or a bunch of cheap ones, whatever. So, okay, so that's that's hypnosis stuff, and very loosely related to hypnosis. Uh, I give you the picture of the two guys from the Wish You Were Here album. So I came across this picture. Uh, which I thought was pretty cool, and I actually didn't realize how different this guy was compared to the actual picture. Uh, but it's fairly representative, right? Huh! 
Okay, now that's weird. Oh, cool. Okay. So, so here's the album. This is the picture from the album cover, right? Now check out the picture of the book. So the, in the book picture, he's actually leaning forward. You see that? He's leaning forward. In the album cover picture, he's leaning back almost, or pretty much straight up. So I don't know if that was a, if this is an alternate photo or what, but anyways, that's the picture that I found. And I tried to do a, uh, a vinyl cutting of this, and even with my uh, old salt, uh, the old scroll saw, all this stuff was just breaking off and, you know, it turned out terrible and I tossed it. But I was thinking, hey, what if I made it bigger? <laughs> That's in the shot. There. So yeah, I made a... Uh, so it took about seven records to create the pieces for this. Stands about... They stand about 21 inches tall. Um... And you know some of the some of the minute detail in here is kind of kind of lost, but uh, oh nice, there's a hair in there. Oh, it's on the outside. Cool. But that came out pretty cool. Kind of, uh, it's actually bigger, I think, than the my Kurt Cobain one that I did, but it's pretty nice. It came out pretty cool. Oh, there's a you can really see the record pieces there. Oh, I had to. Splice them, piece them together. <laughs> so, yeah, they came out pretty good. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that's my quick update. I just wanted to, back to my last video, I kind of left it hanging like I didn't really know what my my hypnosis cover total was, but uh, I did actually go through the whole collection again and mark them down. Uh, and yeah. Surprise to me, this in my collection, this is a uh, hypnosis cover. Oh, I forgot to show the one thing. So part of the reason why uh, this book is so good is because uh, I saw the picture of this album in the book and I went and grabbed it and I was like, that's weird, I don't I remember seeing hypnosis. And actually, if you look here on the sleeve, it credits sleeve design to app STD standard. Um, which it also lists in the book, but it's like they worked um, together on it. Here's the picture of it in the book. And uh, cover design says hypnosis slash app standard. Aubrey Pell Productions Storm Thurgerson Design. So it was still, uh, you know, a combined effort. And uh, one of the last, the last few that they, that they did from 1983. So, you know, without this, without this book, if I had to come across this record and thought, "Hey, that kind of looks like a hypnosis picture," and then I and then I looked at the sleeve, I would have never figured it out. So, uh, you know, for those people that are interested in collecting these, uh, I definitely recommend the, this book. It may not have as much detail about each of the each of the pictures as some of the other books but it seems definitely to be the most complete so um, spinning Greek uh, it's only 25 bucks might dig it um, do I have anything else to show Mm, answer no that's it so thanks for watching uh, if anybody like I said if anybody's interested in a copy of the spreadsheet that has all the hypnosis albums listed uh, as as uh, listed in the complete hypnosis catalog um, shoot me an email and I can send it to you um, so that's it thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you next time See you later.